uh, for Cote d'Ivoire, their first game against uh, Guinea-Bissau, Guinea Guinea gave us something to cheer about, uh, gave us something to smile because it was expected that the host nation at least uh, will beat uh, yes, uh, uh, their opponent, which they did. And then uh, uh, from the first match of the group stages, we saw some offsets. Uh, it started with... Uh, I think was it Zambia and uh, was it Cape Verde? I think yeah. it's Cape Verde. I think it's Cape Verde. One of one yeah, of Cape Verde, yeah. it was Cape Verde. Cape Verde won their first match. Yes, Cape Verde won that first match, and then that's where the miracle started from the rest of the uh, big South teams. Africa lost their first match. South Africa lost they their first to match. From yes, they but lost two nil to Mali. They lost two nil to Mali. Yeah. Now, first game it lived up to expectations by Cote d'Ivoire. Not really, sincerely speaking, because I mean. First game is always like that. Tension, mm. that's just the first game of the tournament. Just like as just like the way it is you wouldn't tell me that the first game in the World Cup in Qatar live up to expectation. Now we're talking about Qatar versus I'm trying to remember the country. Ecuador. Ecuador. It didn't mm. live up to expect it was a BI, a good game, but it didn't live oh, up to expectation. So it's normal with competition. First games are always a bit drab, a bit cagey. Mm. The home country <laughs> trying to get it right. Mm. So the, yeah, so we, we the excitement was not there, but it gave us a, a sign that come away in for it and it determined. It wasn't poor, but mm. it wasn't up to what we expect, which is normal with opening games. Mm. And I don't have issue with that because mm. two goals were scored. Mm. Yeah. They so dominated mm. and give them hope that look, we're going to make it. If not for mm. that, if not for the fact that they won that first game, mm. we wouldn't have talking about it because as winners today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But back to the first group games from the group, the first group to group B to group C, and then uh, we saw a progression of that same losses for the big teams. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, we saw big teams you know, clamoring for help because uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, some of the big teams lost the big teams lost their first matches, which was where we knew quite alright that they would be upset. Uh, upset. Uh, it would be to be an upset field tournament, judging by what we saw against uh, Cape, uh, Cape Verde. But uh, in all in all, the first group matches of the whole, whole group served us something to uh, to smile about and wait for the rest of the tournament. Absolutely. It served us some, some kind of upset. We mm. saw Namibia beating Tunisia. Mm. Dion Otto, the uh, Orlando, Orlando Pirates and winger. We mm. saw what it did you know, just uh, towards the end of um, regulation time mm. in that particular encounter. And uh, it was a very interesting gr group stage um, mm. uh, set of games. Mm. And uh, uh, we saw... Uh, Egypt Rude, Mozambique. You know, <laughs> very <laughs> funny result you know, that no one saw coming. As far as I'm concerned, you know, this last AFCON, Mm. Uh, was more or less like a script that no one could have written, mm. you know. So he, he, I, I think for me, in a very long time since I've been following Afcon, I think um, the group stage performance was something to cheer about. Mm. So, I, so, I, I the first game. Of, yeah. the, first game games, I think the first game. Angola, was, the first game was where I think it, it, it sets the mood for the whole. Aside, the, the aside, 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 no, aside right? Senegal, the yeah. only standout team in the first game was Senegal. I mean, Senegal. Senegal. Aside Senegal, yeah, that's the only standout team. If not, yeah, and funny enough, that is one of the few games we had 51%, you know, uh, ball possession. Yeah, yeah. yeah, throughout the tournament. Because we only have two matches that we have possession that is more than 50. That is up to 50. I think the match against um, Guinea Bissau, Guinea -Bissau. Mm -hmm. and the match against uh, Ikutoria Guinea. The game where aside, we saw a aside those two matches, mm -hmm. every of our other game, I think the only one we had up to 40 was the match against I'm trying to remember is it South Africa yeah that would be 52 48 the mm. race 39 37 that. so that was be, be, because when they were the formula it works out. so the first matches were just aside the only thing that looked like oh, we're here to come and do a big was with, with Senegal because Algeria drew mm. against Angola Egypt Mozambique of all people you understand mm. Cameroon <laughs> Guinea drew mm. and that is that was the story of the first set of matches I, I, I said so. First set of matches for me sets that uh, gave us something. Uh, told us in particular. So on um, this this competition, if you if you do anyhow, you see anyhow because the big teams you collect. Them, you collect them. because the big teams <laughs> where they mention their names. Now are big teams where we feel say their first matches. Anybody they catch is to send a message to the rest of the team that so. Oh, but we did here. We are here to win the tournament, but it didn't work out for some of them. Well, I, and I think that's why Afcon drew a lot of attention. Yeah, yes, yes, for the bookmakers, yes, yes. those mm. who who always feel like it was a tournament to easily cash out. There were yeah. fixtures on paper mm. where you could put your money on and go to bed. 
and then wake up the following morning and smile, but it didn't happen. You look at an African Cup of Nations win on the opening day. Mm. Nigeria failed to get a win on the opening day. The Black Stars failed to get a win on the opening day. Cameroon mm. did not get a win on the opening day. Um, Algeria did not get a win on the opening day. Tunisia mm. did not get a win. Egypt, uh, now Egypt did not South get Africa, a win. Yes. South Africa did not get so, a win. Now these only are Morocco seven mm. of the top ten African nations. Mm. In that seven of the ten, meaning only the Ivory Coast, Senegal, and of course Morocco, Morocco yeah, in Africa's won. top ten were able to win their first match of the Afghan Cup of Nations. Mm. Now that sent a message that, you know what guys, let's take the mm. This Afghan has something to offer mm. and did not stop until after the group, until mm. the group stage ended. It was a fantastic f- match they won across mm. board mm. in every competition. I think after the match they won, all the favorite Ghana, this were seventy percent to win the Afcon. Mm. It began to drop. Mm. Yeah. Senegal stock rose, mm. Morocco stock rose, mm. the likes of Nigeria dropped. Ivory Coast rose a bit. Cape Verde stock rose. rose. Cape Verde yeah. Cape Cape stock rose. Yeah. They were always the dark horses from mm. twenty fifteen. Cape Verde have always announced themselves as one of mm. the dark horses in All African right. football. But mm. good first game round mm. game in Afcon, mm. and they set the pace for the, for a fantastic tournament. All right, one, one thing we would agree so far is the fact that Kodova gave us a good, a good, yeah, a good, a good, yeah, a good yeah. I mean, and of course in terms of football, the first matches served us something to smile, yeah, something, uh, something to enjoy. Now let's let's go deep and then take a look holistically about the whole group matches and then the standing and how it finished. For a lot of big teams that we were hoping that they would do so well in the tournament, uh, most of them. Still fell out at a time when we needed them after the three matches in the group stage for them to survive. You know, most teams would didn't expect for me. Ghana, I didn't think Ghana would, I didn't, I didn't think you Ghana. Talking about, I think you're going for a Ghana, I even, I mean, talking about, talk about Algeria, uh, yes, I talk about no, Tunisia. No, Ghana, I think, I think. Ghana, Ghana for largest there was expected. Yeah, Jamaica. now Ghana were in the reason why the reason why I say Ghana, the reason why I say Ghana mm-hmm. is the fact that um, you know this was one like a, on a wake up call for them. Mm-hmm. Let's not forget they qualified for the World Cup. You no, know, removing Nigeria, making sure Nigeria did not qualify. So <laughs> it was building. So I was thinking maybe this is where they would build up from. I didn't even think about Tunisia because I know normally these are not African football no, 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 teams. No, no, that's gonna be, do be, well. Be, but is, sorry, yeah. Yeah, mm. here is this one of their key player. Well, to admission, Nigeria did not qualify for the World Cup. Was not there. Was not. Yeah, Thomas Pass. So Thomas I knew Pass. that's going to be a problem. Mm. He might not be the captain. He might not be the most influential player. But his presence matters a lot. Just like we've been talking about presence behind. I mean, we mm. get there very soon mm. behind the e- 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 cameras. His absence says a lot. And Ghana refused to actually do the right thing. Aging players. What is the they actually doing in that team? What is Jordan I still doing in that team? Don't they? So don't they have a recruitment process? I don't know. Other guys actually coming. When we start giving them chance, when other countries are doing that, practically almost every other country reject their team. Mm. One thing that the, one country that refused to do that in in, in the most critical area is Ghana. Mm. So I was expecting so much from Ghana that Ghana couldn't make the group state. For me, it was a normal thing. Mm. That's not too true. Now, the rest yeah. of the teams, Tunisia. Now you mentioned Tunisia, big Africans, uh, big, but to the big African team, one of uh, uh, they have they've been doing well in World Cup. If you ask me, talking about Tunisia, did they do well for World Cup? Not Africa generally. Not Africa yeah. generally. But uh, were you guys shocked with the fact that after the th- after the group stage games, the big wins packed their bag and baggages? Well, I think Tunisia was the biggest shock. If you're in a group with Mali, South Africa, <laughs> Namibia. With all due respect, Tunisia mm. should have gotten something, but it was an entirely terrible time. At least finish second. They in scored the just one goal. No, no, I goal. expected Tunisia to even be one of the best losers. Mm. Beat Namibia. Okay, beat for a competition friend. where he had a chance for you to qualify as one of the best losers, a one new loss to Mali, mm. a one all draw with South Africa, then beat Namibia, you will qualify at the worst case scenario, one of the best losers, without any calculator. <laughs> but the Tunisian <laughs> scored just a goal at the Grand Cup Nations. And considered two. Mm. Now, one of the very few teams that did not win a, a single game. tournament. Now, this is vis a vis what you look at Tunisia in mm. African club football. That's why sometimes when persons speak about the fact that players playing at the league that is strong, like playing at, at home, mm. sometimes you have a shout. Then look at the Tunisian national team. If you have players who play in the Tunisian league, the Esperanto of this world, and the Todo side that represent them, but they struggle. But South Africa works. Somebody could like try. Yes, I'm going to, but South Africa worked. Yeah, because South Africa worked. worked. Senegal had the entire squad foreign base, but they crashed out in round of 16. And there's no perfect formula for this. Yeah, there's no perfect formula for him. The chart tournament, South Africa has never done well. But guess what? Diar Congo are two-time champion. So for me, 
Tunisia struggled and it was a of, tournament in Libya as well. It, too. It's, it's a shock, you know. It's Baba a shock. Today. I didn't expect Tunisia. Baba to today, this this is how tournaments you don't expect. This is more like it's like you said. Nobody saw the script coming, but uh, uh, for the big guys, for the big teams, this is more like a big message to the rest of African big teams that uh, if you are coming into a a competition like the Afcon. If you know tire rap power, somebody go lose them for you. If you know, if you know, put your leg for ground, breeze go carry you. Yeah. This, this is a big message talking about the group stage and how it ended for the big teams. Absolutely, you know, like like we've been talking about Tunisia. You know, they were they were a pack of disappointment. You know, uh, scoring just one goal in three games and uh, they they just couldn't um, show what they they were capable of. You know, this is a team that you can boast of at least four or five players playing in the same team, mm. Club African, mm. uh, 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 Toyota Sahel and Experience, but mm. they just couldn't um, you know give their their countrymen anything to cheer about. And uh, the Afcon was just uh, a tournament that uh, mm. Mm. that uh, you know the Minos mm. you know stood up and they were. Uh, to be counted, you know, we saw Cape Verde, mm. we saw Equatorial Guinea, who had who, who, who's captain eventually emerged as a top scorer of, of the tournament with five <laughs> goals. Expected. You know, someone we hear was playing as a right back in his um, uh, Spanish uh, lower division side <laughs> and playing as a striker in, uh, at mm. Afcon. Mm. You know, we saw what um, uh, even Mozambique did. You know, they held on strongly against a Ghanaian side despite the fact that I personally I don't rate Ghana these days because um, mm. I feel maybe don't leave me the I, mistake I, 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 I feel, don't leave me the mistake I feel the national team is not special we no, no, shot no, no, no. ourselves in the like foot could by allowing them to empty. go to the World Cup yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was in that stadium that day Blame and I will never forget that, that particular mm. I will never forget that particular oh. day because it was on my birthday mm. and I felt so disappointed so for me I think the Minos have really shown that African football has risen and you 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 cannot just say uh, this side is a small team. No, mm. no, no, no. Just to cap it up, right? Mm. Here is it, right? I think football has come to stay in Africa. Definitely. Without functional leagues across Africa, football has actually come to stay. Without with countries like Nigeria, without something so reasonable, you can't even have about their leagues or anything. Nothing. Football has come to stay. With mm. Keba, a, a, a country of how many people, mm. football has come to stay. Mm. So less than a lot million. is going on in Africa. I, I think the world needs to just ask the father. Look, as far as we're concerned, we're catching up. Mm. We're catching up so fast. Yeah, mm. yeah, we're catching up so fast. The mm. next thing is we, you know, Robin should have practically put so is out there. Not just not, last time Morocco just sent a signal. Sent a signal. Going mm. forward, and Morocco no, for any for any any, for any world competition, watch out for Africa. A lot of dominating at the state level. I, I mean, at the, what, what they call it? Um, uh, uh, you stage level. Stage, yeah. Because yeah. I've never been a fan of that. Because I, I do not, it doesn't work for us. Because we're not developing you, talent. We, well, I mean, we just win a lot The transition yeah. is not there. Uh, yeah, but with what we've seen, all right, football has come to stay in Africa. All right, guys, quick one. Let's rush off uh, and then discuss uh, the whole groups, the remaining groups and uh, the matches left. Uh, from the round of 16, uh, we saw that we saw some exciting knockouts. It's, it's people, all of a sudden, people who expect them to, to still remain, yeah. uh, go home down to the semi final with uh, Cape Verde uh, being knocked out by South Africa. Cape Verde, obviously, we thought was the shining light from the group stage, yeah. but uh, when it mattered the most, uh, uh, when the big guys came knocking, they couldn't withstand them. But then, Semi final from the from the round of sixteen to the semi final uh, to the to the final proper we saw a good game particularly from the um, knockout stage which is the uh, round knock, of sixteen round of sixteen to the semi final good games and of course good setting but for South Africa and Cape Verde nobody saw Cape Verde being knocked out for me uh, in the semi final fact yeah. fact sincerely speaking one of the biggest shows for me but it it, it, it tells you I think locks play an important role in that game because there was this last attempt from the Cape Verdeans that yeah. if it yeah, has, in the game it's got a final yeah. 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 And they survived that then in penalties. I don't know what happened. They couldn't just mm. get it right. It's one game that I could actually put my everything that look the South Africans cannot survive it and they survive it. Mm. And it was a bit shocking to me. But that aside, uh, other matches were somehow to some extent predictable. Mm. The only other match that probably shocked me again a little in that we're talking about the knock the, the knockout stage. Knockout stage yeah, mm. is the Mali. Ivory Coast. Mm. <laughs> and Ivory Coast. Two before red, the match, forget about yeah, yeah, two red cards. With two red cards and in before that match. the match, forget mm. about Ivory Coast were at home. With what mm. I've seen from Mali, I was like, oh, Mali is going to do. And they came fired from all cylinder. They got practically everything right. But when it matters, you miss a penalty, and they, you still went ahead and scored, and you couldn't, you know, keep up. You couldn't keep that that lead. And mm. 
I don't know. That is one of the most shocking match aside from what Salah did to the competition. Mm-hmm. Like you got injured and you feel no, I'm going to stay back to give my team a moral support. I will go back to England and go on. That's only a, a negative thing to the competition. Yeah. But that other part, group stage, wonderful for me. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Both of the other matches or matches that you actually said, look, this is what's going to happen, and mm-hmm. it happens. Okay, let, let me look at take us back a bit to the round of 16. I think for me, it started from Angola and Namibia. Mm-hmm. Now in the game where Angola. To a large extent, were favorite, fantastic mm. group stage, but they got a red card. And the Namibians were also not pushovers. They showed mm. their strength yeah. in the group stage, but the Angolas came on rearing and were absolutely phenomenal. Mm. And it was like, how the this happened? Double they knocked out Namibia three. and they went on to advance. Now look at Congo. Congo did not win a single, single game match. in the group yes. stage. Yes, I, 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 I was actually yeah. going there. They went on to face <laughs> Egypt. To now to the Egyptians. Congo. Qualified mm. by, let me just say, by the whisker. By the, by the whisker. Yeah, by the and whisker. Then when they had the chance to rewrite every wrong they did in the group stage mm. against the Congolese, it went into penalty. Now, Gabaski, mm. the man who was the hero the, the last, last time at the African Foundations yeah. that took them up mm. because. Egypt played penalty shootout from the round of 16 mm. up until the final against Sen- Senegal, mm. where they were then beaten, of course, by the same penalty shootout by the Senegalese. And it was Gabaski, the hero yeah. of 2021, that missed his own penalty <laughs> and then was scored by the Congolese <laughs> and they went out. And you know, all of those, you know, gave, gave the AFCON and then the Kutura again in losing Something to Guinea. Something just hit my head. I mean, Bono, 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 Bono that was celebrated all over the world, Bono that was up there for everybody else, say, oh, come on, you want to be based goalkeeper in all over the world. Look at Sasha Kamiti. Mm. South he became, I don't know how to put it, mm. he became something that nobody, those goals were, particularly that, that free kick was, what the heck is this? So, mm. oh, you're good, but Africa, Cup of Nation, Maybe really living Sevilla and going to the Gulf region has affected his game. Well, I, 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 I would not entirely say so. I would not entirely say so, mm. realistically. Mm. Um, you could also say... For, so, Senegal had a goalkeeper who did so well in goal. He plays in that same league. Talking about um, it was, it was, it was fantastic for Senegal. He practically stopped whatever was a threat. But the Senegalese somehow, somehow against uh, the Ivorians, mm. I don't really they, know what happened. They just didn't click. They just did not click in that game. Probably over confidence. It was a game they should have killed in the first forty-five minutes of the game. That was, Every a, that was, a, minute that was, that was a game they scored in the fourth minute. Uh, if there was a complete in that in that tournament, I think the Senegal team is complete, the most complete they were, team in that they, game. They, 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 were most com- they were so complete that they had nothing hindering them. Now, for me, I think one big problem the Senegalese, one big problem that, that cost teams in this Nations Cup was the fact that teams that did not take their chances, mm. especially against the Ivorians, they paid dearly went for on it. to pay dearly All right. for it. All right, guys. So, uh, we are certain that uh, we've, got, we've got good game on the group stage. Mm. The quarterfinals served us something, right? Of mm. course, uh, the knockout stages give us something. Now, 